Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of Tenacity, writing a new piece for the Parhelion Trio to be premiered at Carnegie Hall on May 31st. And I totally failed to promote the Parhelion Trio in the, in the first video. Uh, this is a fabulous group of, of three women performers who just continually impress me with how amazingly they perform together. They memorize a lot of their music. They communicate so well together. Um, they just, they are so in sync and just so good at what they do. So I'm, I'm uh, thrilled to work with them. This is, this will be the third piece that I've, I've uh, written for them. However, it's been some time. So um, I, I think, uh, it, you know, it's been since 2014, since the last piece. So I, it's, uh, I'm, it's due for a new one. Okay, so uh, last, last time we met, we were talking about this opening section. Uh, which I have composed a first version of. So let's go ahead and hear that. There you have it. That was the first minute and a half of uh, new music. And again, this is a, an approximation. It's something that will continually evolve as I put this music into notation software and continue to hear it back. And um, it's not at the final draft yet, but you got a, a good taste of that opening, which was all about sirens. I want to show, with, show to you what I'm thinking next. So as you can see, I've made a, a, a lot more notes since last time we we uh, spoke. Uh, it's kind of a one-sided conversation, isn't it? Uh, since one the, since the last time I gave this monologue, I should say. And uh, you can see I'm kind of numbering things now. I'm saying, well, this is a kind of first section, sirens. A second section is, rep is meant to represent the kind of clapping music. Um, a third section is meant to re represent silence and despair. I want to bring in the marches that we heard from Black Lives Matter. Um, that will be a prominent feature and um, you know subject of of this piece. And then a turn towards hope when we got uh, that vaccine and that we could come back to music. And then ending with a kind of uh, tenacious music. Okay. So how is all this translated into music? Well, I'm working on it. Um, as you can see, I'm I still have my main twelve tone row. Now this is music that I could use on its outside, uh, on its outset by itself. Um, I, I, here's the inversion of it, which is uh, also ripe for use. You might be saying, "Ah, such music to my ears." Well, I think you could actually do a lot with that. yet to see what I want to do exactly with this, but I like the idea of a dialogue between the main, uh, the principal row and the inversion of that row, um, starting at the, at the, the same pitch F. Um, but how else could, you know, if I just stuck with that, that's kind of limiting. 
and I want to see what well, are there other ways I can generate new material. So my my thinking was, okay, let's think of these in trichords. So if I just take the first three notes, that's a trichord, and can I spin out more music just from those three notes? Well, yeah, I, I come up with this pattern, which I quite like. And I might just spend spend some time with a few of those overlapping trichords as a way of creating a kind of bed, which to me sounds calm, but potentially uh, it's peaceful, it's calm, but also there's a sense of remorse there, I think that I, I could make use of. Um, another idea is the second second trichord, that, that this is meant to represent some kind of despair. And notice how I, I'm transposing up in minor thirds, which is a, a common technique uh, when you have a, a pattern like this. Okay, you end up um, almost filling in the aggregate, all 12 uh, pitches, but I'll be leaving out the, the um, fully diminished seventh chord. Okay, another thought was, ah, what if I took this and transpose it up the tritone? And what if I combine that with one of the mi missing pitches? This really sounds like an expression of despair to me. And um, I know I want to work that in at some point. Another thought, uh, so going on the, the next, uh, I forgot to circle these, so the next three notes three become the, the next trichord. Can I spin this music out into another set? And I, I think I'm gonna do something down low, you know, forceful. I like that it has a kind of positivity, but also kind of determined quality. I also like that uh, when transposing up a minor third, you also get this chromatic connection. Eventually coming back to where you began. So I think that'll, that'll be ripe. Ripe for the, the using. Okay. And as you can see, I, you know, when I'm writing things down, I'm also playing with them on the piano. I'm improvising. I'm just trying to see, okay, can I, uh, can I represent something here? Uh, I'm not going to write it down on the page and, and keep it just because it looks good on the page. I want to make sure that it's fulfilling that intention. And then the last trichord, uh, as you can see, all the way down here, I've also spun that out. Here I'm transposing by major thirds. And again, I like that connecting at the half step here. These are the sort of things that many modern composers think of. And you might not know is going on in the background. You don't necessarily have to know, but it's what gives the piece a kind of continuity. And then I, I added the, the three notes that are missing from the aggregate. And this, I think, is a complex kind of sense of hope. It's not uh, overly uh, saccharine, but uh, I think um, it, it could represent this kind of hope theme. And then I, I think, uh, I don't quite have it yet, but uh, I'm thinking about what, what uh, might be good for a kind of ending. I know I want to get to a very, you know, uh, I want to get back to the, the use of this 12-tone row, but in a more forceful way towards the end. Okay, so as you can hear, I'm thinking big picture. And uh, I, I have a kind of map for the piece at this point. Okay, and stay tuned for the third video next week. I look forward to seeing you over there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm also looking forward to getting these ideas down on paper and making some 
some real decisions this week. Okay, see you there.